What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Back to another video. So excited, so excited, so many things to say. But let's go ahead and do our thanks and give our gratitude to everybody. I've just been blessed. Been so blessed with all y'all following me right now. I thank you so much for joining in to this community and what we're doing. Help me help you help all of us. That's, that's, that's the thing right here on what I'm doing for my YouTube channel. So stick with me. I got a couple announcements at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Let's jump on into it. I've been getting a lot of email. And for all you that have been emailing me, thank you so much. But please be patient as I'm picking up on subscribers and picking up on fans. I'm getting more and more email, and I never imagined this. And I thank you guys for so much love uh, and support. And I'm hammering it out combination of the Facebook messages and the emails that I've been getting. So I'm going back and forth, really want to stay on top. I am behind, so I apologize ahead of time. But I've, I got a good two handfuls of emails from women, from ladies dating, all right? Um, talking about, and I know I've spoken in the past about, you know, good guys, what to look for, stuff like that. But the common theme behind these emails and they kept asking, these, these ladies kept asking, where are all the good guys at? Where? I don't see them, I don't feel them, I've never met any, blah, 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 blah. But I wanted to jump upon something even before that. I've always talked about, hey, you know what? You need to know exactly what you want in your life. I've spoken about your kingdom. You being the king, you being the queen, and that's all you should search for is your counterpart, your king or queen in your life. But let me jump on something else. Taking accountability. And hear me out on it. Guys, I'll, I'll answer the emails in, in a minute for you ladies. But guys, I get it. You know, we don't have a lot of role models out there. Especially when it comes to music, media, film, all that stuff. And, you know, the, the concept of sex and drugs and money and all that, they glorified it to a point where it's so prestigious to have that the society now, with, with all these youngsters growing up, that's all they search for. All they search for is to smash and, and, and have sex and jump on, you know, anything that walks their way and take away from the essence of love or making love, you know. All this stuff about how to treat a woman. We don't have movies and we don't have people that are out there getting the exposure on how it is to treat a woman. But here, here's, the, here's the thing. Guys, you have to hold yourself accountable. I know a lot of guys feed into this whole machismo or the bravado of, of just being a man, especially in hip hop. Change it. If you're the type that really wants to change and not fit in and be different, take a look at it. Everybody, guys, to hold yourself accountable if you want a real good woman. But here, even before that, ladies, let me go ahead and answer the emails. You need to take accountability for yourself. Yeah, I said it. You need to take accountability for yourself. And what I mean by that is this. You need to know exactly what type of guy you want in your life. What type of man. I'm not talking about grown boys. I'm talking about a real man in your life. The guy that's going to respect you. That's going to love you. That's going to just you know, hold you and, and be passionate with you. But for all you girls that have been, where are all the good guys at? Let me ask you something real quick. Have you taken accountability of who you are as a person when you portray yourself? Are you just accepting any guy that walks around that gives you, you know, a little bit of attention, that gives you like a quick little smart comment, or, or not even a compliment, just, just trying to holler at you. When I say, ladies, you need to take accountability, do you feed in to all this stuff that, you know, is, is out there in the media? When a guy just wants to go hit and quit it, are you, or when a guy just comes up and brushes up on you, are you quick to go, damn, he's cute, damn. You know, are you acting a little thirsty? You know, or can you hold yourself up to high regards where you won't give up the cookie? You won't show the thang thang, as I said in my past video. You know, that you can hold yourself accountable and as a woman, knowing exactly what you want in your life and who you want in your life and who you're going to surround yourself with and the type of man that you deserve. See, I see, I work with a lot of guys and girls. And one thing I realize is these females, these youngsters, these young girls, are scared to be alone. And I get it, it's scary, you know? A lot of women, and I say women, a lot of girls need to feel that companionship, need to feel that they, you know, they have that significant other, need to fill a void 
some may have issues, some some may have issues, some may have just like, you know, relationship issues, some may have just attachment issues. I get it. You can name any excuse in the book. Work on it. But here's the hard part. So let's say you do are yearning for that companion and you are yearning for that significant other. Are you are you so quick to yearn and want that so badly that any guy that just sweet talks you that you just gonna go ahead and hook up with? Not even be with, hook up with, you know? Are, are you at the point where you're just like, man, that's all guys want, so you know, I'm just gonna give it up to them? And I'm gonna get a lot of hate from the guys, I understand for you boys, I ain't talking about you boys anymore. You youngsters need to start growing up and understand that there's a bigger picture to, to everything that's been perpetuated in our media, all right? But for you ladies, hold yourself accountable. You know, for all you girls that want a really good man that always wonder where all the good guys are at, they're out there. But you got to go ahead and in turn, hold yourself accountable to see who you are as a person. You know, just like you want guys to stop being this machismo, to stop being players, to stop being all that stuff. Look, you can say no to all that. If you feel as though a guy's hauling you just to get in between the legs, you can say no and hold strong to that. Hold strong to your morals and values and thoughts and opinions. It's okay. And yeah, there may be a time, there may be a long stretch where you don't date anyone. There may be a long stretch that, you know, you're alone and you, you need to figure things out. And, and, and you got to revamp yourself or whatnot. There might be a long stretch that you won't get the nookie or whatever. And let me go on that real quick. Is it that bad? I mean, I understand some of my female friends, you know, they all sometimes they just... They, they say it. Sometimes I just need the D. I just need to get it. I need, you know, I got things to fulfill too. And, and, and I got these emotions. And, and, you know, I'm sexually driven. And both. I get that. But do you just want to give that up to any guy? Or do you really want to hold that guy to higher standards? So that right guy. Because like in the video in the past, I said it only takes one. It only takes one. To get to that point. So hold yourself accountable. All right. See the type of people you want. See who you want. See yourself with the right people. It's okay, ladies. If you feel as though there's no good guy, you have to be that great person to get that great guy to come to you. You understand what I'm saying? But don't worry. If there is alone time, it's okay. It's not going to be that long. Because all it takes is one true gentleman, one true man to really sit down and really take his time to go see you, to get to know you, to get to know you. And that person, when that time comes and it's right, by all means, do what you do. But like I said, for the guys out there that, that want to step up to become a gentleman and not be this like typical, you know, whatever that's out there that's being perpetuated in the media, the music, the, the film and all that stuff, look. You can step up to the plate, hold yourself accountable. I know it's difficult. You got your boys wanting to do this and that and holler at that. I get it. I get all that. But you alone can make that conscious decision. You. You don't have to follow everybody else. You don't have to follow what's, what's being out there and what's being put out there. You can make that conscious decision. Because like all, of the kid, all the youth that I talk to and stuff like that, if you want a good person in your life, a great woman, be a great man. If you want... A great man, you need to be a great woman. So figure that out, whatever it takes to be that great person first. All right? Got to hold yourself accountable for all the things. Ladies, there are great men out there. There are. But you know what? You might be sleeping on it because you, you, you take a look at all these other guys that physically are attractive. And I'm not saying all you guys do that, all you ladies that do that. I'm saying a lot of you ladies just, you might just go, oh, man, he's, He's hot. He's cute. I can get with that. I hit that. Blah, 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 blah. You're acting just like what guys are acting like. And, and what? Double standards? I get it. But don't go out here and, and sit here and say there's no good guys because your great friend, the one that's been on your side through the thick and thin that you only see as a friend, could be that one. But you just don't see it because he's always just been there. Just think about that real quick. All right? So remember... Hold yourself accountable. Guys, girls, boys, girls, women, ladies, gentlemen, men, whatever. Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself to higher regards and really see who you, who you are as a person and who you want to surround yourself with. All right? Let me know what you guys think.
comment below. You know, you know the deal. Comment below. Let the community know what they can do to hold themselves accountable. And, and I know I have a lot of female subscribers that, that ask me questions. I want the females out here to go ahead and comment below so you can help each other out. Let's get this going. And I know I have a couple of gentlemen. I have, I have a good, good, small group of guys that are starting to jump on right now. Let's spread this. Let's step up. Let's step out. Let's be different. All right? Let's create this community as a whole. Now, a couple of announcements I want to say real quick. Um, I say thank you to all those who are reaching out. You guys have heard in, in, in the last video or two videos ago, I asked that if you have any um, events that you're looking for a speaker, motivational speaker, relationship speaker, whatever. As you can tell uh, on my Facebook, I've been starting to do panels. I've been invited to do panels. I've been interviewed um, and things are starting to pick up. 2015 looking great. I got a couple gigs going on um, next year and I want to throw it out there. If y'all looking for a speaker, especially someone that's different and looking to do different things and to expand their horizons, let's go ahead. Hit me up. Melodic Mike at gmail.com or hit me up on Facebook at Melodic Mike. I'm throwing it out there right now. And I got challenged by, by one of uh, my subscribers asking me to put down, do a video about 50 interesting things about Melodic Mike. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you guys, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, ask me questions. Throw me questions that you want to answer. And I'll, every video from here on out, I'll, do, I'll answer about 10 of them at the end of the videos till we get to 50. But let's go. 50 questions, what you want to know about me. All right? And start asking. Either email me or comment below, and then let's get this going. All right? And then let's see. Lastly, 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 thank you. I'm humbled. I'm grateful. And I just want to continue spreading love. So all you guys that understand what this channel is all about, I thank you. And for all you that are just hopping on, I thank you. This is just slowly spreading. I understand it takes patience. Uh, and I really just want to keep reaching and reaching and continue reaching out. You guys are helping me do that. And so let's continue this going. I want to get on shows. I want that platform. I want that main stage. Get me on the TV show. Let's talk. Let's wrap it up. If you got connections, hit me up. If you got events, you need a speaker, hit me up. Let's get this. I want 2015 for all of us to finally do something big and just get, take this to another level. All right? So until next time, stay blessed, everybody. I thank you for all the blessings and all the prayers and everything that's coming along. Stay tuned for more. All right? Take care, everybody. Cheers.